Hi everyone, it's Mrs. L again. So I often have students that come down to the Library Learning Commons because they need to use our photocopier. So I am going to give you a quick lesson on how to photocopy a couple of different materials. The first thing I've brought down is a stack of papers. The other is a book. There's two different ways to do it. One's a little easier than the other. So there is a bulletin board here reminding everyone of copyright and not to copy workbooks or other consumable items as well. There is a little handy guide here that answers questions a little bit more in depth about what can and cannot be copied. There's also a couple posters on the wall here about how to make a copy, how to send an email from the machine, but I'm going to do a quick demo in the interests of hopefully saving some time and headache if I happen to not be available to help. So the main screen of the copier, um, sometimes when you come in here this will be grayed out because it's gone to standby. If that happens, just hit the power button over here. It'll be glowing green. You press it, the screen will come to life. So you have a few options, but you're going to want to choose copy. So the screen opens up. I'm going to start out with my stack of papers. Now you can see that these are nice. They're not wrinkled up. They're not ripped out of a notebook, a coil notebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slide them right up here into the document feeder. There's a handy little picture right there that shows to go long side up and the print is up. So if they're a duplicate, it doesn't really matter which size, which way you put up, but put them in this way. Then I'm going to come down to my screen. The first column we could see here is reduce and enlarge. So we're not changing the size of this copy, so we'll leave that as is. Our paper supply, if our paper is up here in the tray, we are just going to leave it at auto. The printer will pick that up by itself. Otherwise, you can choose a couple options. So tray one, you can see is eight and a half by 14, which is legal size paper. Or tray two is 11 by 17, which is tabloid. Essentially, it's two letter size sheets of paper side by side. Or tray three and four are just regular letter paper. We're also going to have to choose whether we are doing single-sided copying or double. So these are single-sided pages. There's nothing on the back. So we can just leave it here at one to one. Say this was single-sided and we want to double-side them, we'll go one to two. If it's double and we want to keep it double-sided, two to two. Or say it's double and we want it single-sided two to one. So you have a few options. There's also options over here for stapling and this machine will hole punch as well. To keep things simple, we're not going to worry about those things today. So the, our paper is loaded. We've chose our settings. The last thing we need to do is figure out how many copies we need. So I'm going to choose two copies by pressing the number two. This can go right up to 900, sorry, 9,999. We don't want that, so if I make a mistake typing in my number, which you can see it comes up over here, I'm just going to clear all, and it brings it back to one. I'm just going to start again. If I'd made any changes here, I would just make those changes. I want two copies. I can confirm that it's only two. I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to hit the start button. The printer picks them up automatically. And my printed pages are going to come out here at the end. So I can pick them up as soon as they're done. So the second type of copying that I'm going to do is a little bit tougher because it's the book. We can't feed a book through the top tray. So what we're going to have to do is open up the lid of the copier find the page we want. I'm going to pretend that I want this page right here. I'm going to put it on the tray, sorry, on the glass, and it's going to go here in this corner. So in the top 
left. There's a little green arrow here in the corner that shows where it goes. We're always going to keep it in portrait mode. Now the important thing to remember here is unless I want this whole book to come out on one page, I'm going to have to pick my paper tray. So I'm going to try to fit this on eight and a half by eleven paper. Say I'm using this for a project, I'm going to leave my settings for copies here at two. I'm simply going to hit start, I'm holding the lid down a little bit so that the book is tight to the glass, and our copies come out here over at the other end. And that is a quick overview on how to use the copier. Again, at any time, if you need a hand, just come and see me. I am more than happy to help. Have a great day.